Hey, what's up guys? Um, just for some context for the people who maybe don't know what happened, but uh, five or six months ago all the Maple Royal uh, Maple Royals content creators got their accounts suspended uh, and or their videos uh, deleted off of YouTube. So that's why I'm re-uploading some of my older episodes. I compiled all the um, episodes from the childhood dream episodes 1 to uh, 11 back to back so that's why this video is quite long uh, so people who want to rewatch it here you go or people who want to watch it for the first time so it's uh, up here on this new youtube channel not sure for how long uh, this one will last but we'll see i uh, just want to give a quick shout out to some of the other content creators from back in the day i see some of you are back uh, making videos so kind of inspired me as well to re-upload um, yeah my episodes uh, so i'm talking about uh, you know noob gamer 97 uh, we never really talked but I, perhaps you watched each other's videos sometimes see you're making you know some new videos again and uh, your other videos i think some of them got uh, back to public so they're not private anymore and uh, jimmy t cool um, always some funny maple royals videos i see you have a new youtube channel and uh, jimmy t story or journal journal i think so pretty cool to see that those guys are making videos again uh, some other shout out uh, to sprint fast uh, i had some nice youtube comments some conversation back and forth with that guy uh, it seems like your account got deleted as well and um, yeah Hastings with the road of glory Maple Royals road to glory something like that I think he also made a second account which got also deleted so um, sorry to hear uh, that we all got targeted my youtube channel was called the Maple Force for those who don't remember Anyways, um, maybe leave some comment. We have a nice, can have a nice chat uh, in the comment section below. Uh, anyways, um, enjoy the video content, and perhaps I'll be back to make some more videos. I'm not sure. Um, real life is pretty uh, busy right now. So, anyways, um, without further ado, enjoy the 11 episodes of uh, the childhood dream of me making trying to make uh, a, a strong night lord on the maple royals private server welcome back you guys it's been such a long time uh, i think it's been like a half a year or something but uh, here i am back with another video and as you can see in the title it's me creating uh, a night lord and it's something i've been wanting to do for a long time and uh, like you can see in the video it's like nine minutes long or something and i just uh, edited all the clips from me just starting off on the account i'm just gonna do some voice narration and uh, yeah where i've been what i've been up to what my plans are for this account and everything like that so um yeah if you're playing yourself just put it on in the background or if you want to watch me go through the first few levels I made a nice compilation for you to watch, so sit back and enjoy. So, um, where have I been? Uh, well, it's um, it, it has to uh, it had to do with my studies. Uh, it took up a lot of time for me. I was doing my graduation internship, and after a long day of working, I didn't really feel like um, going on to another grind. That is Maple Story uh, for me. It was a perfect uh, like getaway thing for when the um, pandemic started and uh, I had to work from home for such a long time so I could work from home and play Maple Story at the same time but um, <laughs> after a while I had to get back to the office and um, I didn't really feel like playing and yeah like you've seen in my previous videos I was playing uh, a warrior class and like when, once I reached level 135, I, c I could do bosses, and I did a few boss runs, and I got bored really fast because the gameplay of a warrior is just kind of boring to me. And I also didn't really want to make a mage because everyone was doing that, and 
yeah and then i was like when i first came to the server i started with a thief like an assassin and uh, of course i didn't know about washing and the whole deal uh, about that so i didn't really uh, continue on that account because i didn't wash it and it was kind of ruined like maybe some of you also experienced but now that i understand how the server works how washing works um I was gonna give it a go, um, and here you see I have some equips, some indie equips. I uh, bought them, uh, or I switched them over from my main account, like the the warrior you saw in the previous videos. Uh, I also had uh, washed that one a little bit, or I could wash it, like I, I wore good gear every time I leveled up. So that one is washable, but I didn't really feel like continuing because, um, yeah, like I said, I, I really wanted to play a night lord um, from the beginning so that's what i'm uh, planning to do with this account right now i'm trying to get above 20k hp so i'm aiming for a base of um 250 int and with my equips i will have like 310 int and when i'm leeching i'll probably have maple warrior so i'll have like 320 int uh, so that's 32 int per level that I get for washing so that should do the trick I think like once I hit like somewhere in 130 plus I'll be able to get um, 20k HP so that's my plan and yeah here you see me trying to get uh, some good squishy shoes with some intelligence on it but uh, wasn't very lucky with that but um, yeah um, I'm definitely gonna see this account as a marathon and not a sprint I'm not gonna rush through this um, I probably will be just updating the account every so often or like updating the YouTube chan channel with a progress video every so often um, just showing the progress showing how far I've gotten and uh, yeah just um, the goal of course is to make like a very good night lord HP washed um, ready for the yeah boss runs and I'll probably make some videos about that probably when there are some events I'll also make some videos about those uh, or if I feel like making any other videos about the server I'll definitely do that I saved up a lot of uh, mm, NX so maybe I'll do a dash upon video at some point uh, I'm not sure about that though but um, as you can see I'm level 30 here and uh, <laughs> I was uh, yeah, I have zero dexterity or like 25 like the base you need to get to become a thief and I have zero uh, luck or like base luck for and I was like oh it's gonna be easy you're just gonna use an apple and uh, I'll have enough weapon attack to kill them so here we go and uh, that's a nice waste of 10 million mesos so uh, I wasn't hitting them for shit so I asked one of my friends to uh, lend me some of their items um, I got a few upgrades for my int items, as you can see. I also got the, the, the Rudolph nose uh, from the current Christmas event. It's a really powerful um, face accessory, so definitely get that one. I think you can get it before... Uh, I think the event ends on the 15th of January. Anyways, um, yeah, so... Um, like the the first few, few yet levels are always fun. I always enjoy the Maple Island Island, and um, yeah, I've, I did the NPC trading quest thing for the first time, and well, yeah, that's it's only like 70 mil to get from level um, from level like almost level 15 to level 28, so not too expensive, and it's only like half an hour work or something, if it if it's even that. So. Now I'm level 30 and um, yeah, I will be uh, leeching of course f from a bishop because um, yeah, I could do party quests like the the carnival PQ but I don't think anyone is waiting for some <laughs> washed sin to join that doesn't deal any damage at all. So I'll be um, yeah leeching from level 30 till level um, yeah 135 I think so that should be a long ride but um, yeah uh, it's it, like I said before it's a marathon and not a sprint so uh, I think it will definitely be worth it in the end so 
yeah, uh, I'm really curious what the reaction will be to this video if there's anyone from the old days still watching and with the old days I mean like half a year ago when I was uh, yeah, first starting out making videos. Um, I was planning on making more videos, like uh, I had a few things recording, like a, a Papalatus prequest guide and uh, a Crax prequest guide, so maybe I'll finish editing those videos, I'm not sure if anyone is actually uh, <laughs> looking for those kind of videos, but um, perhaps uh, I'll upload those in between the progress videos. And uh, yeah, as you can see for now, this video is coming to an end and uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, an interesting experience uh, because it's definitely not the normal way to play MapleStory, like um, I used to play like uh, with parties and grind and maps together and play party quests, so I'm not sure uh, how fun this will uh, be, so that's why I'm just stretching it, stretching it out a bit and not rushing these levels, just uh, a few levels each day and then you'll get there eventually. So um, I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, a uh, new video coming uh, whenever I hit maybe like level 40 or level 50. Um, I'll probably make a video about me doing the Zakum prequests and getting my Zakum helmet or Zakum helmet, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, um, you guys have a great uh, Happy New Year uh, thing, uh, because that's coming up, and bye-bye. Uh, hey guys, what's up? Thanks uh, for watching my last video, and welcome to this new one. Um, I want to try out doing some live commentary. Usually I just record some clips and then I do, do um, yeah voiceover. Um, but let's see how this works. Um, well, this episode I just wanted to give an update. I'm uh, level uh, 46 as you can so see. And um, I've got some upgrades for my equips. Um, let's go over those really quick. Of course I got the medal from the job advancement. Yeah, I think you saw that in the last episode. My bandana, I also had this one, but I'm gonna replace it pretty soon. When I hit level uh, 51 or 50, I'll get a Zekum helmet and I'll probably scroll it with int helm scrolls because I will be wearing it till I'm yeah, high level and I'll be washing till I'm level 135 so all the extra int is pretty welcome. The Rudolph nose, I'm gonna probably scroll this one. But, uh, yeah, I got the 13 int bathrobe, 8 int cape, 8 int glove, 1 int necklace, one in sock, yeah, L like I said in the last episode, I was trying to get these squishy sho shoes, but um, wasn't really working out for me. Um, I got this one with one int, but um, yeah. Um, the seven int wand, uh, six int uh, earrings, and one int shield. So that's my current setup. I do have a deputy star waiting for me, so I can equip this in like three levels because this one is almost done and um, yeah as you can see uh, the washing is going pretty good um, I'm at 217 in I want to go for 300 I decided so um, yeah making good progress on that and yeah I got some other upgrades as well uh, one of my friends gave me his um, crystal ilby not that I can use it right now but still nice to have I guess um, besides that nothing too special oh I did buy some um, a Nexon uh, or some how do you say it uh, cash up items I was trying to go for the look of the old teeth from the old promotional videos and uh, I mean the old promotion content. I'll probably put a, an image of the guy that I'm talking about on the screen right now and I was trying to copy that look. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, if it looks something like that. I, I, I think it looks pretty good, but uh, I'll uh, let you decide. So for now, uh, that's the update. I'll get back to you when I reach 1500 of these. I reach level 50, so now I can wear uh, the deputy star. Uh, I don't think I have any more int upgrades coming up anytime soon. 
um, which isn't too bad because I got uh, 69 uh, plus from the uh, equips. So let's uh, scroll the the nose. Hmm. Rudolph's shining nose and this is Rudolph's red nose. Hmm. I'm not sure if it will work, but um, I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna try it. Anyway. Let's just let's just give it a try. And of course, it didn't work. All right, so I was um, mistaken, and then I don't even know how you can get a red nose. So that's good waste of uh, 500 of these stars. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, small update here. Um, I got an upgrade. As you can see, uh, I got a pumpkin basket. It was only like 60 mil. Um, I know it's pretty expensive for an upgrade of one int. Uh, I have plus 70 if I'm not mistaken right now. Plus 55. Oh yeah, yeah. I I um <laughs> I changed. Uh, I I I gave another account of mine uh, the hat. You'll see uh, why soon enough because um, it's for some other video. But um. Yeah, uh, once I get a Zakum helmet, I'll have um, 70 again, and I'll scroll it with in-scrolls. And I was just thinking about changing my hairstyle now that I have no... Um Maybe they have some interesting hair color though. Yeah, fuck it, let's go with blue. How does this look now? Hmm, interesting. Pretty ugly actually. Well, never mind. Uh, well, I hit level 50. And um, yeah, it's. I'm going to go to um, um, Elnath to do the uh, Zakum prequest actually. And yeah, so I'll have a Zakum helmet. And yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll probably go do that tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to do the prequest together with one of my friends so that should be some interesting content and yeah like I was saying I got the, the pumpkin basket it's a pretty nostalgic item for me I used to have that back in 2007 or I think yeah it says 2006 but um, I believe it was in, uh, in Europe when, when I, uh, in Europe it got released in 2007 and it was Europe I ever remember correctly it, it, it was just called pumpkin basket but um, yeah, I also, um, yeah. So yeah, there. That's that's the update. See you in, uh, see you in a few seconds. Uh, so before I got around to um, doing the Zakum prequests, I just was chilling in the FM and I was talking to some random dude and uh, we talked for a few minutes. And uh, turned out he was a pretty cool guy and uh, he saw that I was washing my uh, my dude and he offered me to lend him some of his int equips. And he only could offer me an uh, int shield that was an upgrade for me, but it was a huge upgrade as you can see. It's a shield with nine int. I, I think it's super expensive, like one bill maybe, maybe even more. I'm not sure about the price, but he was lending me th his shield. And uh, yeah, big shout out to this guy, uh, Dai. It's n his name is, and his main character is Dai with three or no wait six A's. So if you see that guy, just give him a fame or anything like that. So yeah, that's another upgrade, pretty good, cool from this guy. And um, yeah, in this in this clip or the upcoming clips, you can see me starting the Zakum prequest. Uh, first, you go to Elnath for the people who don't know and talk to your job instructor. And once you've talked once to him, uh, you're able to go. And uh, this is a small trick you can do to uh, skip a lot of the traveling time. Probably a lot of you already know this. But um, right before you enter the volcano of Zakum, there is a map you can save on your um, VIP traveling rock. And one of my friends had the spot saved, so he just went there. And he um, yeah, just told me to teleport there. And um, yeah, of course, if you have a rock yourself, don't forget to add the map like I'm doing right now. So, um, the yeah, Zakum prequest is pretty straightforward once you've done it once or twice. There, there are like a ton of guides on the forums, 
<coughs> and uh, even some old guides on the uh, on the internet, like on YouTube. So I'll, I'm pretty sure you'll figure it out. Uh, maybe uh, if I get bored at some point, I'll make a tutorial myself because I just like making those kind of videos. Um, maybe if, if some of you. Uh, want like an updated tutorial in 2020 for Maple Royals to do the Zakan prequests? Let me know. Um, <coughs> so the first quest is pretty straightforward. You just um, go through like a, a maze of tunnels, and you have to figure out in every tunnel if you have to destroy a rock or a chest to get a key. And I think there's like seven keys in total. And once you have all the keys, uh, you collect them and you uh, drop them uh, at the big chest and me and my friend did it together <coughs> excuse me and me and my friend did it together so I think we finished under like 8 minutes as you can see and now we're just breaking boxes to teleport us out of the room and as you can see my friend just got teleported out and I decided to just walk out um, because I didn't get teleported so that's the first part um, the second part is jump quest and um, I'm saving that for the next video because this one is coming to an end. And um, yeah, the third part is just collecting 30 gold teeth and you have to give them to the guy uh, that I'm walking to right now. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. If you've done those three quests, you are able to do the Zakum uh, boss fight. So thanks for watching guys. I'll uh, see you in the next episode where I'll be doing the jump quest and I'm also uh, facing Zakum and uh, getting my Zakum helmet. So uh, once again thanks for watching and uh, have a great day everyone. What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm uh, super pumped that uh, yeah, you're watching again. So nice, so nice. But uh, yeah, in this episode I'll be uh, finishing up the Zakum prequests, I'll be getting uh, Zakum helmet and I'll be leveling up a bit so that's uh, the planning for today so the, the sakum jump quest it's uh, kind of infamous at this point i guess remember back in the day when i was like uh, 14 years old this took me two hours but uh, things have changed uh, i mean at this point i've done it so many times that it isn't that hard so i think i finished it in like mm, 10 or 15 minutes as you can see I started out with like uh, 20 white pots and 1000 melting cheese and I think at the end I've only used like three melting cheese and a few white pots so that's uh, pretty nice and you know if you're not the best at jump quests that's all right I mean just take your time bring enough pots and uh, yeah don't don't brush it I mean it's not a marathon it's a sprint uh, I mean it's a sprint not a marathon and uh, you know what I mean anyways uh, after I finished uh, the jump quest, I asked my uh, guild to do some Zakum runs and they were nice enough to come and help me. Uh, I mean, I'm in a pretty nice guild. It's a, it's a Dutch guild though, so I guess if you don't speak Dutch, it's, it's too bad. But um, yeah, if you speak Dutch and you're an active player, uh, just let us know. Probably some admin will, will be glad to add you. Anyways, uh, so yeah, here's the, the end of the, the jump quest. It's always the the fun part you have to um, wait for the rocks to fall and then jump into the rocks so you can climb up the rope further anyways here's my uh, my friend he he didn't want to finish the jump quest so he gave me back the gold tooth that I gave him in the previous episode anyways uh, here's the, the Sakum run pretty nice um, after this run uh, I did another run to try and get the triple throw but it was unlucky with that but that's all right you know like i said uh, my my guild will probably help me out with a few runs and if that isn't the case you know you can always just buy it for like 50 mil from some other guys that are running zakum so that shouldn't be a problem so uh, about the helm that's always you know the cool part when you're on a new account and you're getting your first helmet so um i could uh, take the helm in this uh, run and uh, I took two helms because as you can see right now I'll probably show it yeah uh, the first helmet was a bit bad because I want a good int helmet because I'll be wearing this until I'm level 135 this one is a lot better I would have been happy with this one even if I wasn't um, HP washing because it has a nice uh, luck and dex roll 
so I'm I'm immediately scrolling it. Um, one of my friends brought some uh, helmet for in scrolls, so uh, you can see. Um, um, yeah, I'm not that lucky, but I'm not unlucky either. So uh, yeah, in the end, I used ten. Um, 10 60% helm scrolls for int and as you can see this one will pass and then I have two slots left and the, both of those failed sadly so um, 6 out of 10 60% scrolls so I guess I wasn't lucky I guess I wasn't unlucky so I'm not complaining and uh, yeah after that I got uh, back to training or uh, buying leech rather but uh, that's uh, that's all right, you know. Uh, the account is really, um, yeah, taking uh, having good progress. Uh, I hit 55 here, and as you can see, I forgot to add the previous AP points, which means I lost out on one MP because I could have had 10 more int. Uh, if you know how washing works, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I missed out on one. Uh, MP, but that's <laughs> I mean, I like min maxing, but uh, it's all right. I mean, that's that's okay. And uh, right here, I hit level 60, another nice milestone. And I'm just uh, washing some stuff here, so yeah, it's like the first time I've ever done a proper wash on a character, and it's like a bit strange and like super expensive, but. I mean, it'll be worth it in the end uh, to have like an, a Night Lord with such a nice amount of uh, HP that you can just basically do anything. And uh, in the next clip that's coming up right now, I, um, I, I hit a nice milestone. I reached my int goal and I was going for 300 int, but I uh, stopped at uh, 294 intelligence because with my um, int uh, plus from equips uh, and with maple warrior level 10 I have a total of 400 intelligence and that's absolutely more than I could hope for because when I first started like washing or when I realized that you needed int equips I never thought that I would have like plus 106 um, with maple warrior 10 of course because I have plus 92 as you can see without maple warrior um, but uh, 400 int, that's what I'll be using. This should probably get me uh, over 20k HP at, uh, at a higher level. So that was the goal and th it's a pretty nice milestone and now it's kind of funny that the first points of uh, luck <laughs> are added at level 62. Of course if you wash the character before that's pretty standard I guess but for me it was kind of funny that I uh, just now only now started adding uh, luck and uh, also if you've noticed in the previous two episodes my uh, microphone volume was a bit low and I fixed that uh, because I have a new microphone and I was fiddling around with the settings but I finally got it right so that's pretty cool and as you can see I'm level 62 right here and in the next clip I'll be hitting a level 70 and yeah that's super nice guys it's uh, always <laughs> good to reach that third job and then, in my opinion, the skills you, you your character get, they become very, very cool and interesting. Like, you get the Flash Jump and Avenger and Shadow Partner. And I think for every class it's so cool to get, um, yeah, the third job skills. And uh, here I'm just adding the last points, just making sure that I didn't miss any other skill that I should have been adding um, skill points in. So um, that's it for this episode guys, uh, the next episode will be me doing the job advancement, I'm pretty curious if uh, I'll be able to kill um, like a job instructor with so little luck, but um, uh, I'll probably use an apple and some heart stoppers and we'll be alright. So that's it for this episode guys, uh, thanks for watching and um, I see that uh, my subscriber count is going up, that my views are going up, so that's pretty cool. And uh, after this clip I have a little surprise for you guys, because there is this like um, throwing star you can buy and it makes the most awful sound ever and uh, <laughs> one of my friends got it and yeah, let's just make sure uh, if you're a night lord and you have some spare annex just buy the Santa throwing stars and <laughs>
Welcome back to a brand new episode of the childhood dream very nice that you're watching again I can always appreciate that and uh, I see that my subscriber count and views are still going steady and yeah, Thanks a lot for that and yeah, Besides that um, I'm gonna go quickly over what we're gonna be seeing in this episode I'll be doing um, the, the third job advancement. As you can see right now, I just started it in El Nath. I uh, went to my first uh, instructor. He asks you to go to uh, the portal. In the case of the thief, uh, you have to go to the sewers in, in Kerning City and then um, go to the hidden street, uh, as you saw me do just now. And uh, after that's all done, you enter the, the cave, the hidden street, the path of the glittering crystal. And once you're here, of course, you probably already know this, but you have to defeat like um, uh, a clone or a, a, I should have said some other instructor guy. And there he is. And I was first thinking about using an apple or stoppers, but then I noticed that it was just hitting the guy. So I decided to just use uh, small potions and yeah, it took me like 8 minutes to kill him, but uh, it wasn't super hard because uh, because of my HP washing I always have like a steady amount of health and with the pet of course it's so easy to stay alive. So this was just more um, time consuming than hard and of course I have the crystal Kobe, uh, also pretty cool. Uh, and this is almost the end of the, the fight and uh, he drops uh, a piece of paper, you bring that back to your first job instructor I think and after that you have to go back to El Nath. yeah the black charm oh yeah and don't forget to bring your all cures because he can uh, lock your um, yeah um, uh, usage of skills so uh, make sure to bring some all cures so once that's done you go back to El Nath, give the um, yeah, proof of a hero or something like that to um, to the job and the third job instructor then you have to to buy a dark crystal or craft one yourself um, there is uh, always one in the free market so it, you just use an owl then you go to the big crystal thing ask some questions or answer some questions rather and then you um, yeah you get a medal and that's basically it you just saw me becoming a hermit that's pretty cool um, because I don't remember me ever doing the job advancement for a hermit pre-Big Bang. I did it once um, after the Big Bang. So this was pretty cool to have all the old school skills. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, I uh, I hit really bad because I still have my int. And I'm yeah not that strong. And oh, there's a hidden mushroom. Anyways, um, yeah, I just get the, the um, uh, veteran uh, adventurer medal. And uh, the rest of the, the video is just some clips of hitting the, the levels. I just hit 75, here I just hit 80. And uh, I'm following a washing guide that um, the, the guys guide is uh, the following. You, you just uh, level up to 30, put everything into int. And then from level 30 to, or rather 31 to 70, you HP wash as much as possible. If you're unable to wash your HP, you have to wash your MP. And um, you do that until level uh, 70. And then when you're 71 till 135, you uh, MP wash all the levels. And since I reached my end goal, I can just save up the uh, fresh AP. As you can see, I'm doing that right now. I still have 50. I'm probably gonna wash it all away in one go once I hit 135, just to make it a bit easier. Um, so yeah, that's that's some really good progress. The, the account is really taking taking shape here. I just hit level uh, 85, so that's also nice. Well, nothing too uh, special to mention, to be honest. Um, this is me uh, hitting level 90. Uh, and as you can see, I'm just uh, <laughs> saving s up some uh, drops and equips. Uh, because I probably um, will, will have to um, scroll some of the items uh, like the boots and the gloves for thieves and I was like oh, um, I'm just gonna save some other equips make a scrolling video that should be fun and uh, right here I'm also uh, saving some of the drops um, 
for the Cracks pre-quest. And this is me hitting uh, level 100. And uh, I wanted to uh, yeah end the video here because um, yeah it's just some nice progress. I became a hermit. Uh, I reached the triple digits. That's always a really nice uh, milestone. And uh, yeah, uh, once again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. It's great to see like such a um, like small community coming together and still generating so much views. I mean, it's pretty amazing. So thanks for that, and um, don't uh, be shy and just add me in game. Um, we could grind together because uh, yeah, the account is coming along nicely, and uh, soon enough I'll be able to do content myself. Welcome back, guys. Welcome to a brand new video of the Childhood Dream. This is part five. I'm uh, happy that you're watching again. Today we're gonna be doing a little bit more uh, grinding, and uh, we'll be making some good progress. You just saw me hitting level 110, and right here I uh, already hit 115. I forgot to record the level up, but um, I still like to record the progress. And also the uh, Christmas event came to an end, and um, my guild, the Tulips guild, um, reached the 24th place or 23rd place. I don't remember, but um, we got all this crazy chair, pretty epic. So. Once again, a big shout out to my guild because since I was just hanging on a rope leeching, I didn't really contribute to any of the snow collecting. But um, right here, uh, I'm already buying the secret spell scroll. Uh, for the people who don't know, if you buy this, um, you can hand it in in um, leaf free and you don't have to kill a manon and um, the bird. I forgot his name. Anyways. Um, yeah, I, I bought two because I was also like leeching um, a bishop myself. So that one also reached level 120. So I thought let's just buy two. And uh, yeah, this is it. The big milestone, big milestone 120. That's like always such a nice moment to finally have that last job advancement. Um, yeah, on my on my warrior, I did kill the two bosses um, for the items. But yeah, it would be kind of ridiculous to kill. I don't really think I even can kill them on my account with all the uh, int that I have. I should, I should get carried. So it's a no-brainer to buy the secret spell scroll. That way you don't have to kill them. So uh, it's a bit anticlimactic. I think the my favorite job advancement is the third one because here it's just a lot of talking and uh, just going back and forth. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, it still has to be done, and it's nice to, you know, finally get the fourth job and uh, be a night lord. And besides that, uh, I also um, started streaming. Uh, I I did two streams at the time of this recording, and it went pretty well. Like the first stream, I still had to fiddle around with the settings a bit more, but in the second stream, everything went really smooth. Um, I'll put a, a link in the description to my Twitch. And right here, yeah, I'm advancing to Night Lord. Very nice accomplishment. Like I said earlier, uh, I never became a Night Lord uh, pre Big Bang, so it's actually quite cool to finally have uh, accomplished uh, this. And also, uh, yeah, I, I can now get um, the medal, the fourth job medal. I think it's the Master Adventurer's Medal. It give, uh, gives plus two to everything. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, um, the streams have been going pretty well, especially the second stream. Um, since uh, I want to uh, hunt for the uh, monster cards, I'm trying to, to you know get the monster book card collector medal thing. So uh, that's going pretty well. Um, we're gonna make some good progress there. So come check out the stream. Once again, link in the description. And um, next time I'll probably upload a video of me. Um, like when I start the, I'll, I'll upload a video uh, when I start the stream. So here I was trying to attempt to get triple throw again, and it dropped. And I, I just looted it in case you didn't saw that. It went by pretty quickly. So here I'm just uh, uh, activating the Maple Warrior book and the triple throw book. Um, yeah, I didn't need Maple Warrior because I always, you know, get Maple Warrior from the leechers. So, but this is uh, nice progress, especially now that I have triple throw, uh, something that you know had had to be done, paying some people, 
And of course I want to test it out and now you can see my crazy damage. <laughs> I can't even one shot uh, a Pepe. But that's alright, you know, it's, it's just because I have so much uh, intelligence. And um, yeah, as you can see in the title, uh, we'll be hitting 135 this episode. Uh, so yeah, to be honest, the, this episode and the previous episode were just a lot of leveling up. Um, still some nice progress to, to um, record. Uh, but um, in the next episode, uh, I will be doing a bit more. Like, I will be hunting for some gear. Uh, I'll be scrolling some items myself. And um, maybe if uh, the episode isn't too long, uh, I also did the Papilatus pre-crest. So maybe I'll put that in the next episode as well. So that's uh, the progress, um, and here you can see me hitting 135. I was uh, teaming up with one of my guildmates, he is also washing a Nightlord, so this was pretty nice. Uh, always better to grind with friends than alone, in my opinion. And um, yeah, this is it, 135. The reason why, uh, for people who don't know, the reason why 135 is a big milestone is because you now can uh, get shared experience from bosses like Zekum and uh, Krex. So, um, I'm not sure if, if it was always this way, but in this server, you know, once you hit 135, you could say like the game <laughs> is really beginning. So, uh, but I still have to wash away um, the intelligence that I have and 330 uh, skill points, or I mean ability points. So. Um, this is gonna take a while, and as you can see my inventory, I only have 235 AP resets, so that's uh, 95, uh, or 90 um, uh, ability points that I still uh, need to buy AP resets for, and then I also have to buy 290 <laughs> more AP resets to wash away my intelligence and to luck. So, that will be a bit of a grind, but um, you know, like I always say, it's just a, a marathon and not a sprint. So, once again, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Uh, I, I still see the viewers count going up and my subscribers count is going up. Hope by on the stream. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you next week with the next episode. Have a great day guys. Welcome back guys to a new episode of the Childhood Dream and last episode we hit 135 and um, so yeah that's the big milestone uh, as you probably know in this server and um, yeah first we're gonna be doing some uh, MP washing it kinda sucks you know I have like 235 AP resets and that's and uh, not even close for being finished because after these 235 I need 390 more so um, the next few uh, weeks I'll be just making some money selling some leech stuff like that selling some old equips and um, to make the money and yeah it's uh, it's kinda crappy that it's necessary in order to play a class like this you know a warrior and a mage you can play with like a mage you don't even have to wash and a warrior you just have to wash a little bit I think um, but don't quote me on that I'm not too sure but in order to play like a night lord you really have to do some washing and um, yeah it's an expensive process so yeah without uh, further ado <laughs> let's uh, continue to the next part um, I'll be gearing up my character since I you know, hit 135 uh, once I got all these AP resets, I can you know, finally start doing some bosses. So it's time to gear up. This is pretty, a pretty fun part in my opinion. So I bought uh, a 5 dex 23 luck pirate top. And here I'm just checking out if they have some um, yeah, good bottoms. And I found 19 dex and um, what was it? 4 luck? Uh, yeah. Uh, so not too expensive. And these can definitely be upgraded in the future. So that's that's pretty nice, uh, like you know, first end game gear I would say, and I also have uh, like a red craven. It's clean, but um, yeah, I'll I'll be wearing that for now, you know, just to kill. Uh, so at least I can kill a few mobs. 
And here I decided to uh, buy uh, some more uh, helmet for deck scrolls because since I'm done with um, you know my intelligence on this character, I just have to wash it out. I also don't need the equips anymore, so I decided to buy a new Zekum helmet. Here you can see me destroying my old intelligence Zekum helmet that we scrolled a few episodes back. So here I'm trying to, uh, you know, scroll a new Zekum helmet, but with Dex this time. And with this first one, I bought a, a VIP Zekum uh, run for helmets, but with this first one I'm pretty happy, so I just start scrolling immediately. And as you can see, I brought 15 scrolls, you know, in case, like, the first four scrolls would fail on, uh, on the first helmet. But this one, it's going pretty nicely. It had 16 Dex and 19, uh, or, like, 17 uh, luck, so... That's a pretty good uh, helmet if like a lot of scrolls work. And here I passed 5 and I still have 3 more slots. So 6 passed, 7 passed and uh, you know this, this is pretty lucky 8 passed. So that's 8 out of 10. I'm really happy with that. I'll, be pr I'll probably be wearing this helmet for a long time unless I can find uh, some upgrade. Here you can just see me paying all the, you know, the, the guys that were killing Seikun. And uh, you know this. Um, this is also, as you can see, I, I just miss <laughs> four dexterity to wear the level 80 equips that I just bought. That's why I saved uh, five AP resets because uh, you know there's. It's uh, I read on the forums that it's like normal to have some low dex on a night lord, and then you just wash it out once you get better equips. So that's why I saved five AP resets to get some more dexterity, uh, so I would be able to equip my gear. And um, you know, now that I equip this, I can also wear. Uh, now I have enough dexterity to wear level 100 stuff. So that includes a red craven. And as you can see, like this clean red craven has like 45 attack and 10 luck. So that's good enough for now. Uh, I can you know just uh, do some card hunting stuff like that. And uh, as you see in my inventory, I have a lot of like level 100 boots and level 100 gloves. And I'll be scrolling those uh, in this episode. I'll be scrolling the gloves, and I have some live commentary for that. And yeah, that's in the next clip. So enjoy. What's up, guys? So for this part of the video, I'll be doing some live commentary. Um, hopefully, I'll be scrolling one of my more permanent uh, gloves. I'll show my inventory in a second. Uh, let me just go to this place, room one. Uh, I'm at 10. Um, yeah, I have a lot of like level 100 gloves. So um, I was hoping to scroll um, a lot of those. Um, you know, let me just buy them all. Go to a different channel where it's a bit more quiet, I guess. Um, because, yeah, like you saw in the previous uh, clip, I got my Zekum helmet. Um, I actually have everything I need right now, except for uh, good boots and gloves. I think I'll probably need to be wearing these until I get a bit more dex. Um, because I got a lot of good boots, um, but you can scroll those with dex. So, um, for now, we're going to be focusing on wearing some new attack gloves. Of course, I got the standard uh, 10 weapon attack gloves nothing too special there um, but I got all these um, and I thought it would be nice to do some like live commentary uh, of me scrolling them let's just not start with the best one let's just start with um, this one for example I would be more than happy if this one would have got ooh, 10 weapon attack I wonder if it's even better uh, or if it's better if it has like s uh, 8 weapon attack but there we go again Ooh, that's a second one. <laughs> How nice would it be if I would be done with this and just the first one with the first try? And that's a fail. But I'm still gonna finish this one up. Uh, I think it's worthless now. I'm not gonna waste another scroll on it uh, because yeah, it's four. And if it even goes to six, I don't think it's it's better. So let's try this one right here. Uh, let's see. And nope, I'm not gonna even attempt finishing this one next one let's try this one I got a good feeling about that it's lucky seven you know seven work got a good feeling yeah that's the first one down second one okay let's just keep going 
Oh, uh, four. <laughs> oh, the third one. Ooh. Uh, I'm, I've not gotten this far. Uh, I think I never scrolled uh, <laughs> five uh, perfect scrolls on the attack above. So let's try again. Ah, oh, that's that's too bad. Let's see one more. And also failed. So that's uh, another one down. Um, but I, I still have a few more to go. Let's try 9 9. This one would be pretty cool if this one would, would work all the way. That's a fail. <laughs> this is not going too well. Um, next one. I still ha also have these two, but I'd rather not wear these. No, let's let's just give it a try. Let's just give it a try. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Happy that scroll failed on there. Ah, no, no. I, I think the next one, the next one will will be will be a good one. The next one will work. Mm. Uh, I've been saving these two for last, but let's let's just try one of my best gloves. Let's see here. All right, that's kind of sad to be honest. Let's just. This is a lot of bad luck, I guess. Uh, next glove. We have two good ones left. And one bad one. Let's just do the bad one first. Okay. And it's worthless. Alright, two left. Two left. Mm, yeah, let's save the best one for last. Let's save the best one for last. That's, that's this is... Alright. Alright. This is kinda bad. Last one. It's all or nothing. It's the best one I saved for last. Okay, let's go. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna finish this one up, see if it can get 8 attack. That would be nice, and not even that. Alright, let's see, I think I had one that was pretty good. Um, I'll finish this one up. Oh my god. <laughs> this is kinda sad. What was the good one? I forgot. I think I had one. Yeah, this one. Let's if I can make this one eight, I think it's probably better than my current like like. Oh my god, this is. I'm not gonna waste that one. This is just. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm just gonna see if there is a blue elven with ten attack in the store right now. This is uh, this was a big disaster, guys. Oh. There we go. See if I can get. Uh, oh, there's one for 60 million. You know what? Uh, should I buy this? Mm, yeah, fuck it. I'm not gonna. I think I'm not. Be, I won't be able to make one of these gloves work myself, and they all have filled slots. So, let's go to room eight, channel one. There we go. Found it. You know what? I'm just gonna buy it. I'm not gonna bother trying uh, making one myself. Now, I'm still pretty curious how much attack difference this would make. Oh, wow. That's actually quite a lot. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. Sadly, I think I can't wear this because I will put off my boot. Let's see if it works. Yeah, I really have to have a base int of. Um, or I mean, a base dex of six more. Before I put this off, or I should have a better equipment, uh, some other place. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, could have gone a lot better. I mean, like these gloves are basically useless right now. Maybe someone would want to finish some of these, I guess, for like a budget build. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm not sure if there is any other clip after this one, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. So guys, to recap real quick, we have a Zigum helmet with 32 dex and 17 luck. You got the Rudolf nose from the event, you know everyone got that right now. The Master Adventurer's medal, pretty standard stuff, no glasses. 10 dex earrings, I got those from my warrior. And uh, yeah, clean red craven, 45 attack, 10 luck, not bad, but also very good to upgrade. No ring at the moment, um, 6 decks, snowshoes, nothing too special there. Pretty good bottom, 19 decks, 4 luck. Also pretty good top, uh, 23 luck and uh, 5 decks. Deputy star, also pretty standard at this point. Uh, a cape, a 15 decks and 3 luck, that's also for my warrior. And the glove that we just bought. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a good day, bye bye. 
Okay guys, welcome back to a new live commentary for scrolling at the boots. Um, as you can see, if I uh, put off my boots, uh, I won't be able to equip my weapon, which is pretty bad. Um, uh, I think uh, I also won't be able to equip my glove, yeah. So this is um, not too good, but if I turn on Maple Warrior, uh, I can wear them. So this means I can also wear the level uh, two, uh, the level 100 boots and those uh, I'm gonna scroll today with uh, scrolls for shoes jump uh, because I wanna get some additional decks so we're aiming to beat six decks right here um, and uh, for that to work I at least have to pass one of these 30% scrolls I have 11 of them I don't know why I have 11 because I only have 10 shoes because I I'm planning on um, using one um, three percent and if that one passes I'll uh, use uh, four um, sixty percent uh, so let's see if we can beat the six dexterity and since I have ten shoes um, at least uh, <laughs> like three uh, statistically speaking should pass so let's see if the first one works Ooh, first one passed already so now let's just use four uh, 60% scrolls. Alright, it has five luck already. Alright, so if I if I can pass this one, uh, or should I just try another 60%, uh, 30%? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna save this one and I'm gonna decide later once I get, uh, once I scrolled a bit more. So this one passed, uh, failed, so this is useless trash right now. I'm gonna put this here so I won't mix them up. Next one. Let's see if this one passes. And it's gone. Alright. <laughs> Interesting. Next one. And it failed. And this one is useless as well. Alright. Next one. And uh, I've put them in order from um, worse to better. So this is my best one. So I'm hoping the further we go, the mo more pass this one failed so this one is useless next one failed and destroyed so that one is gone next one 8 8 this one would be pretty cool if this one passes and nope so it's useless next one statistically speaking I should have a bit more luck right now <laughs> it's gone right so these two should actually pass um, uh, nope. Alright, come on. Come on, show me some love. Last one. Come on. Yes! Oh, this worked. Alright, this could be a pretty good one. Uh, <laughs> it's so tempting to risk another one, but um, let's just keep going with the 60s. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So two more. Alright, one more. This, this is gonna be one, guys. The best one. Let's go. Ah, come on, one more, one more, I believe. Yes. So, plus four. Pretty happy with this. Ten luck, six strength, six dex. Uh, Eleven jump and one speed. I'm not sure if that's too good. but um, And now I'm pretty curious, now that it has uh, six dex, just like the normal shoe, what would happen if I would turn off Maple Warrior? I can wear everything. Wow. This, this is perfect. I'm really happy with this, especially after the... <laughs> last scrolling video where I kind of failed um, all the yeah uh, all the gloves so now I'm actually pretty curious if this is this would be worth anything if I would sell it let's see what the price uh, is of a shoe like that ah, what's going on yeah. let's see here I probably need to skip a few pages Wow, there's actually no shoe like this is being sold right now. Hmm. Yeah, but it, I think it's pretty easy to make one yourself. If I can see all these prices right here. I don't think it's too expensive to make one yourself. But still, I'm really happy with this. Uh, of course, a face stomper is much better. But uh, not everyone can afford that. So, yeah. Um, pretty happy with the result. Um, still have some scrolls left. Like I'll probably sell these. 
you know what? You know what we're gonna try? We're gonna try making this one even better by. Um, oh, uh, of course I have to use Maple Warrior now. Let's try and make this one better by using the last the uh, 30% on it. That will be pretty cool if that one passes. Nice way to end the video. Uh, oh, nothing happened. All right, so this one is, is trash. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty good uh, result. I'm really happy with this. Um, until I can use face stompers, I'll be using this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. So that was the first part of the video, and now comes the second. You could see this as uh, Pavlatus pre-quest guide, um, but I'm not really gonna really guide you through it. It's just all the uh, yeah, locations you have to go and farm mobs. So go to Ludibrium, talk to Mr. Uh, Buffon, and uh, he gives you the quest. Um, first, kill some teddy bears, collect the strings. After that, you'll uh, go to him again. You go to this hidden portal. Because you go go to the master death teddies. They drop two of the quest items you need. So um, yeah, perfect spot to grind them. Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, I still don't uh, deal that much damage because um, yeah, I still have to wash away the intelligence and all the uh, other. Um, ability points so while i'm making money uh, on my bishop and you know selling some of the old warrior equips and uh, merging some items uh, for the ap resets i'm also doing some pre-quests because yeah uh, those have to be done as well because if you want to do the bosses you have to do some pre-quests <coughs> so uh, me and my friend we decided to do the uh, populace pre-quest together and uh, you know if you do them together you can just uh, even if you don't deal that much damage you can just farm the mobs uh, yourself so like the, the next quest is you have to find a piece of crack and and yeah that's really the name of the quest you go to the hidden street with these vikings you just saw me go there and <coughs> once you collect all three different type of pieces of crack um, you go back to uh, flow rider and uh, <coughs> he gives you uh, like the, the real piece of crack you need to summon Papilatus with and um, yeah you know doing these pre-quests um, it's pretty fun uh, I decided to do all the other pre-quests as well at least the ones that I can do so that'll be the next episode and um, I'll I try to time it you know so that I, I sell some leech, I sell some items, I merge some items so I make some money then I do some pre-quests um, so that it balances it out you know that way uh, I can have um, yeah, uh, enough money to buy AP resets. At the same time, uh, I'm finishing up the account to be able to do the bosses. So here, um, like this is the final part of the Papalats pre-quest. It's a pretty short pre-quest, but you go to uh, either one of the guardians, and I would recommend you going to these guys, like the, the guys you just saw f uh, fight. They drop some metal. You only need one, so once you've got the medal, you can go to Papilatus, and you can only enter this area twice a day, so make sure you recharge all your stars, you have a piece of crack, and because it's kind of like the Zekun thing, you have to drop an, uh, an item in, or in order to summon this boss, and you, you stand exactly where I am right now, and you drop the piece of crack, it's like the missing part in the, in the wall, and then like the big clock dude comes at, oh, I mean first you have to destroy some orb in the middle of the map so he is doing that right now <coughs> and then you you fight uh, Papalatus as you can see it's um, yeah you, you don't need that much HP to kill him I think like uh, the, the second stage where he comes out of the clock and it's just uh, the blue jelly guy right yeah this dude you can hit 4.9k so just make sure you have that much health and once you kill him, you finish the quest. Uh, I don't think you have to loot anything here. You just have to kill him. And yeah, then your Papilatus pre-quest is done. And well, thank you guys for watching again. Uh, I hope you enjoy the scrolling parts of these videos with the live commentary. I think it uh, mixes up the, the vibe of the video a bit. So that's kind of cool. Uh, next episode, uh, I'll be doing a lot more uh, pre-quests. And I'll be... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably, um, that, that's gonna be the entire video and then 
maybe the video after that i'll show you some ways to make money uh, there's a new event going on with the red, red uh, envelopes for the lunar new year that's a really good money making method especially if you, if you have a bishop so that's how i primarily am making my money right now so yeah guys thanks for watching once again i also saw we passed 100 subscribers that's really cool and uh, yeah i uh, i really like it uh, i really like making these videos guys thanks for watching what is up you guys welcome back to a new episode of the childhood dream and we're starting this episode off with me giving back the shield that i borrowed from one of my friends you could see this in like a previous episode um, I just met this person in the FM and we started talking and he was like oh you're watching a character here have this shield you can uh, use it until you're 135 you don't need uh, any end equips anymore so really nice of him, him big shout out and um, so I s I'm still grinding for AP resets so I was not sure what I would do in the meantime but then, you know, after a while it looked pretty obvious, I just needed to do the pre-quests. Since this is going to be my main account, uh, I just want to, you know, have done all the necessary pre-quests I can do. Um, because, you know, these quests, you don't need that much damage to complete them. So it's actually perfect to fill some time. And um, if you yeah, have done this pre-quest before, you'll know what I'm doing. I'm doing the Crimson Wood Keep. Pre-quests, um, yeah, you start off by going to New Leaf City, you go to this guy on the Eiffel Tower, he gives you a quest to collect some magnets, you go to um, uh, the alien town, I forgot uh, the name for a second, <coughs> um, oh yeah, the Omega Sector, after that you go back to that guy, talk to him again, then he asks you to go to Ludibrium, uh, collect these temporal fragments, and uh, once you've done that, go back to that guy, and uh, let's see what happens now. I think you have to go to John Barricade after this. It's a lot of a uh, lot lot of quests, and you now by themselves, by themselves, they are not that long or that hard. But it's just a hassle to do them all in a row. But uh, you know the Crimson Wood Key party quest. It's a really good party quest. You can get your uh, mark of something something. It's pretty good pendant with some attack damage. Um, and also the bonus in that party quest is like really amazing. You can get some spectral goggles, black fi fist cloak, and some good skill books. So good money making method as well. So uh, once you go to Johnny Barricade, he asks you to kill some mobs. You saw me do that in the previous quest. After that, you have to kill these uh, electric elephant dudes for their like electric tusk thingies. Go back to that guy, talk to him again, he asks you to collect another set of items and you have to kill some I am robot dudes and they drop a, a, a map, Yeah, you collect 50 of those. The drop rate isn't too terrible but the map is just awful, it's just kind of a hassle. Um, getting there is pretty easy as you can see it's pretty close to the city but yeah it's just a, a hassle. And the rewards aren't that amazing as well. I mean, the fame is nice, but at the end you're just doing this for the, um, yeah, for for the item that lets you enter the Crimson Wood Keep party quest. Then you just talk to him again. He wants you to find some dude called Jack. Um, but uh, first you go to Lucan. He has the next set of pre quests. You just talk to this dude. He asks you to collect ten medals of the Stormbreakers, or I think that's what they're what these guys are called. And as you probably already can see, I have all these like maps uh, on my VIP rocks. Um, it makes it a lot easier. So I would definitely recommend buying like at least 10 VIP rocks before doing these pre-quests. Makes your life a lot better. So you go here, um, you know, if you've sold leech before, or if you have leech the character before, you're familiar with this map. Kill these guys, I uh, collect 10 medals, here are the are badges I mean. So. Here I finished the quest, and yeah, you could also see this video as like a pre-quest guide. But um, oh, and there goes my robot. He goes uh, level up. I thought uh, I'd show that. So now we're gonna find Jack. Uh, you're just gonna follow uh, where I'm going. It's it's kind of a maze with all the 
hidden streets where you have to go. Um, but uh, you know, once you figure it out, it's real easy. It's just a lot of talking and a lot of easy quests. So um, now the next part of the prequest starts. You have to do some translation thing, but it's just a lot of talking to NPCs. So now you have to go back to uh, the guy on the Eiffel Tower and then go back to Johnny Barricade and go back to Jack. It's a whole thing, um, but yeah, I recommend you just do this. You no, know, on a Sunday where you have nothing else to do and you're not sure what to do with Maple Royals, so just go and do your prequests. Um, and yeah, for me the timing was, like I said earlier, pretty good. I didn't have any like real damage, so even though I'm level 135, I could join bosses, but my damage is just nowhere near. And it's a nice change of pace from um, selling leech and making money, so that's uh, yeah, a pretty welcome change of, of things to do. So, uh, yeah, you can just uh, see on screen what I'm doing. You go back to uh, those guys, then go back to Jack. And I think then you almost are done. Uh, talk to this dude. And I think you have to go back to, um, to Lucan, and he gives you the final quest. And you have to kill some NPCs. Um, yeah, you have to kill like 75 windbreakers, stormbreakers, and fire dudes. Uh, here we go. <coughs> so once you can do this quest, you're almost done. And uh, he gives you the last quest, storming the castle. And uh, yeah, he tells you to kill these mobs. It's not too difficult. Just take some time, you know. Just uh, yeah, go and do that. Here you can uh, see me killing the last uh, wind raider. And that's it. Uh, you just go back to Lucan and they've completed your Crimson Wood pre-quest and he gives you an item which uh, allows you to enter the PQ or something like that. So um, since the mark, uh, the, the, the pendant that you can get is for level 140, I'll just be training a few more levels since I can actually wear it before I'll do the pre-quest. And uh, here in the next clip I decided to plunder my old hero. You saw the hero in like some of my previous videos. I uh, took all of his equips and I decided, you know, I'm not gonna play on the hero hero account anymore um, because I just didn't really enjoy the gameplay of it. Um, and yeah, I just decided to sell the items and uh, just invest them in AP resets. So recently, AP resets have been going down a lot, which is great in my opinion. I think like when I started playing, there were like 17 mil something like that at the beginning of, of the corona pandemic like there was such a huge player base that entered the game wanted to wash a character uh, but now i think i see people selling and buying them for 12 mil and to be honest in my opinion it would be even better if they were only like five or four mil that way you know um it's a lot more um uh, i should say it, um I, fr I can't find the right words now but that way it's more accessible yeah, for everyone to wash character and um, yeah let's make that happen guys just uh, if you're selling or buying AP resets go as low as possible but um, yeah here I'm just you know debating for how much I'm gonna sell these items anyways that was like a short in-between thing I decided also to do another set of pre-quests and uh, they're for the Malaysia theme park so you can kill the Scarleon and Tarleon bosses uh, they drop like some good helmets and these prequests are really easy uh, you just have to uh, go to the place I just was it's like a different town in the C BD I forgot the name of the city like uh, you go to Malaysia and um, yeah uh, you talk to that guy he asks you to collect some tickets and then that map where you can get the tickets you also get another item that you need for um, uh, one of the pre-quests so they're like the small toy planes you'll see that in just a second and for the first quest I got the 30% int cape uh, reward pretty good so now this dude asks you to collect 200 viking helmets and you know these mobs aren't too hard to kill you know you just um, go to the corresponding map and uh, then you're pretty much good to go. 
Uh, and the reason why I decided to do this pre-quest as well is because um, yeah, my Zekum helmet is pretty good. I got like uh, 32 dex and I think like 16 or 17 luck. Uh, but um, you can get a very good helmet from uh, the bosses as well. It's like um, kind of similar to the Zekum helmet. So then you can risk it. Uh, you can scroll. Or you can try to scroll it with more risky scrolls, like 30% scrolls, because if it explodes, you know you still have your Zekum helmet, or the other way around. So that's what I'm uh, doing right here. And as you can see, uh, those were the toy planes you have to destroy and collect um, for the next quest. And then you're actually almost done already. Uh, he asks you to collect uh, 200 wooden pon pony tails. And uh, that's the last um, like collecting quest, so to speak. Uh, you have to do one more thing, but uh, you have to go to the muddy banks too. You'll see me do that right now. You have to t collect ten items, which is like uh, will be done in in one or two minutes. There we go. And um, you can only clear this quest, or you can only get the entrance to the theme park uh, to kill the bosses if you've completed all the quests I just saw so um, that's like uh, four pre-quests done on this account I've done the Zekum pre-quest, the Populatus pre-quest, the Crimson Wood Keep uh, pre-quest and now also the Fantasy Theme Park pre-quest uh, so that's a pretty nice progress I uh, also decided to buy like two helmets for 80 mil see if I could get lucky so, uh, what's on the agenda next? Um, I still have to do the Cracks pre-quest and I want to be doing the uh, pre-quest for the Horned Tail. Uh, it's not really a pre-quest but you can do a quest um, and it gives you a badge and if you have this badge you don't have to do the party quest to enter the Horned Tail um, yeah, area. So, you can say it's kind of like a pre-quest. So, those are the only two pre-quests I want to do. Uh, or that are left for now. I know, like, once you hit level 160 or something, you can go to New Tokyo and there are some prequests over there. But uh, for now, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Um, they also recently released a new area. I think there's another prequest for that. But for now, I'm just focusing on the Cracks prequest and the Horntail prequest. So once that's done, um, I think I have done all the, like, and prequests that are necessary uh, right now for the account. It's kind of like a slow process, but you know, I guess it's had it has to be done. Uh, and here you can see me collecting the helmets. And this helmet has 15 dex and 17 luck, not so good. And this one also is not that great, 16 dex and 16 luck. But I'll be scrolling these at some point with scrolls, like 30% scrolls, seeing, see, l hoping to beat like the 32 dex. So, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I'll see you guys next week with the next episode. Have a great day and a good weekend guys, bye bye. Hey everybody, and welcome, uh, we're at episode 9 already, uh, thank you for watching another episode. Today we'll be tackling some more pre-quests, and um, we'll also be getting some upgrades, so that's pretty nice. As you can see, we start off with the Cracks pre-quest, and this is actually a couple of quests you need to do uh, for the Cracks pre-quest, uh, because uh, at some point in the Cracksel pre-quest line, you have to have a lantern that you get from uh, Captain Galaga, and uh, the only way of defeating him is to do this small quest line first. It ain't too hard, you just go to the boat town in Singapore, talk to the old uh, dude on the right of the map he gives you some easy go and kill quests um, just go and go to mp3 the mysterious path the ghost ship you can just follow along where I'm going on screen to also be able to do the prequests and uh, at some point mm, he will ask you he will ask you to kill uh, like a mini boss and it's the, the captain I think that's coming up right now Let's see, complete the quest, blah blah blah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, and you can also, you also have to start the quest to uh, enter Ulu City. Uh, he asks you to kill a few uh, mobs there, and that will transition you into the 
quest line of uh, the Crexel pre quest. So, uh, from a previous quest, you get some white essence. Uh, this white white essence is used to spawn, uh, like the captain that I'm finding right now. You just just like the Zekum altar, drop the white essence at the correct spot. It's at the door, and as you can see, he drops the lantern, and that's what you need actually for one of the uh, pre quests of Crexel. So then you're done here. And as you can see, the old man he has a new quest for you, uh, but that's just to um, redo the boss fight. He just asks you to kill some other mobs, and you can uh, kill the boss again. So uh, I came to this map. It's uh, Ulu One, Ulu Estate One. Everyone is familiar with this map, I would say. Uh, you just go here when you buy leech or when you sell leech. Uh, after that, you go to Ulu Estate Three. Kill the mobs, collect uh, the drops, the e uh, ATC, ETC drops, and, uh, and once you've done that, go to this uh, dude, Commando Jim. He's at the Ulu City Center. It's just uh, one or two maps before the the Ulu Estate maps. Then he asks you uh, to kill and collect some drops from Ulu Estate 2 and the Ulu City Center at the Petri Fighters and. Um, you know, at the Beatles and at the Worm um, map in Ulu 2. So once you've done that, you uh, collect their drops, kill them, go back. It it isn't that hard, you know. You just ask someone who's selling leech there to party for you for just one or two minutes, and then you're done. Then you have to kill Kanduku from uh, Star Wars, and he drops some flowers and uh, collect those. Uh, kill him a few times, just rinse and repeat. And there you could see it real quick, but you need a soul lantern to complete this quest, and that's from the captain quest. And right when I was heading back to complete the like almost final quest of the pre-quest, I saw someone in chat selling a cracks ring, so I just decided, you know, since I'm already here and since I'm I'll be able to do cracks in under one minute. Uh, once I complete this quest, um, you get the hammer, as you can see. I was like, let's buy a cracks ring, see if we can get lucky. And you need this hammer or mallet uh, that I have in my inventory to be able to um, enter the Crex uh, boss area. And uh, some of these guys uh, recognized uh, me from my videos, so that's pretty cool. So here you can see the party screen. Shout out to these guys. They were really friendly and uh, yeah, they uh, just helped me get a Crex ring. So shout out to them. And I think I've met a few of these guys uh, after like a few days later so that's pretty cool you know to see that there's some community uh, that's you know very lively in the server so they started killing cracks and you know as a buyer you just wait for them to kill it pretty soon I'll be able to do it myself and you know the, it's a pretty simple process you just kill the left eye after that you kill the right eye here they killed the left eye some dude died oh and he uh, died again that's okay because we got the uh, revive and and that's it. That's uh, the Crexel pre-quest done, and also the ring. And here I was like, oh, I can't loot it, but you also have to wait for a bit. And as you can see, one dex, two luck. Not too great, but it's still an upgrade because I wasn't wearing any rings at all. So I'm not complaining there. I just uh, pay them, and um, I'll be going on my merry way, you know. On to the next part. So, um, for the next part of the video, I was thinking about doing another pre-quest. Uh, it's not really a pre-quest, but it's something that's kind of necessary if you want to do Horntail. And that's to get the Hero Certificate. And to get the Hero cer Certificate, you have to kill first three bosses, Zegum, Papilatus and Pianus. So that's what we did. Uh, or you've seen me kill like Papilatus and Zegum in the previous videos. You loot their certificate, and that's why we just killed Pianus, the big fish dude in Aqua Road. Uh, you go to Leafry, talk to the old man with the long, longest beard, and uh, he can give you a quest that lets you start this quest line. And that's actually a quest line to get some uh, elixir to transform into some lizard guy or girl, I guess. And, and that will allow you to enter the Horntail area. Um, or actually the Horntail party quest. You need to do a small party quest before you can enter Horntail. 
But that's what's the certificate for. If you have the certificate, you can skip the party quest and enter the Horntail area immediately. So that's uh, kind of a must. Anyways, we're um, you know first grinding for the elixir, which isn't too hard. And uh, once you find the Manon, and you saw us just kill the, the big dragon, he, the Manon. Once you get that kill, it's just a very easy task of going to this hidden street. You just fall into some hole. You saw me. Uh, showing where the hole is then you loot a busted dagger um, some ice cube and a skull from these lizard men and you have to kill some wyverns to get their uh, tough dragon skin any wyvern wyvern can drop these so just collect 10 it's not too hard uh, so uh, now you have to fix the busted dagger and in order to do that you need a one mithril plate and one steel plate Go to channel 15 and then FM 15, there's always a plate slash ore store with all the stuff you would ever need for fair prices. So I just got my plates over there, went to this uh, moss guy in uh, Leafry, he can fix your busted dagger to a like fixed dagger and then you have all the ingredients to get two elixirs to enter the you know area, there you can see that dragon elixir. And don't forget to talk again to the girl, uh, so you can start the um, Dragon Squad quest. And because otherwise the mobs in the party quest won't drop the mark of the squad items, and then you have to do the party quest all over again. So don't forget to do that. And also don't forget to start another uh, quest to get the elixirs, because you know if someone shouts out, "Hey, I'm killing Mammon! If you want the kill, come and join me." You also have that that already done so you use the elixir jump down as you just saw me do and then you do just do the party quest it's super easy and kind of fast you can do this under 10 minutes and there are like a ton of quests on uh, quest guides on the forums and on youtube how to do this it's really easy you just kill the mobs collect the key drop it in the portal make sure someone is at the other side of the portal get to the key and opens up the portal for the next stage not too hard especially if, if you've done it once and then uh, in the last or one of the last stages you just have to hit a lantern turn it on and that's what I'm doing right here and then you are in the final stage and then these skellies will drop uh, these keychains um, they are called uh, mark of the dragon uh, mark, mark of the squad Collect all three colors, you have like a grey one, a bluish one and a reddish one. And if you have all the uh, certificates from the three bosses I just mentioned, you hand all that stuff in and you get a badge, um, or I mean a certificate of the Dragon Squad as you can see. And with this you don't have to do that annoying party quest uh, in order to enter Horntail. So now that I've done that, I can um, buy a Horntail pendant uh, service. So and there you, you know, I was like, can you drop this? And of course you can't. So don't do that. Uh, just put it in your inventory with your other quest items. And that's it for this episode, guys. I uh, did make some money, as you can see here. And I was looking for an upgrade for uh, my Red Craven, and I saw a dirt cheap one with. 12 luck and 73 um, weapon attack so I couldn't let that slide I was like I'll, I'll invest in this because it's a really good deal so thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the and girls of course I'll see you in the next episode uh, which will be episode 10 which is pretty amazing and I end on a very important note like uh, if you ever wonder how much this item was worth now you know so bye guys, have a great weekend, and see you in the next one. What is up guys, welcome back to a new episode. And today we're picking up where we left off in the last episode. We completed the sort of pre-quest for the Horntail party, uh, for the Horntail boss I mean. So immediately I decided to buy a Horntail necklace, because it's a huge upgrade from the Deputy Star. And uh, I got a pretty good party or at least I think so because I never bought uh, a Horntail service before but uh, all in all it took us or it took them I should say one and a half hour to kill the complete 
like boss and I'm not sure if that's fast or uh, slow or just average but um, yeah uh, you can just see uh, here the, the whole boss run in like a minute um, for me it took like 1000 and 100 uh, power elixirs I think that's a bit on the on the hefty side but I did go AFK for like 20 to 30 minutes and if you do that your character gets bumped to the side of the room and you get hit a lot more by the falling rocks so uh, maybe I could have done it with like 800 power elixirs I'm not sure but um, yeah for me uh, it was uh, it, I didn't know Horntail was such a long boss uh, like half one and a half hours kind of crazy um, but here you can see us or, or I, I rather should say you can see them finishing the boss off and here is the final thing and sadly for the party that killed it it was a pretty dry run they didn't get anything special so at least they got you know uh, 45 mil each uh, because of me and because I bought the necklaces and um, also uh, <laughs> actually I didn't notice but um, you can actually uh, do a small quest by handing in the egg that Horntail drops and your necklace gets boosted a lot and here you can see me picking up the last of the three necklaces because there were three dropped in this one and this one has eight decks and eight luck and it's the best one so I saved <laughs> the best necklace for last so that's pretty cool and I'm also pretty happy with those stats and yeah thanks to the party that ran with us uh, they had a lot of mules with them I think it was in total four people and like six mules or something it's pretty crazy or maybe it's kind of normal who who know I, I at least I don't know but um, here yeah you can see me pay everyone and here I'm just doing the final quest to upgrade the horntail necklace you go to and uh, this uh, house right here start the quests that uh, this dude has for you he tells you to go find some um, fallen warrior guy if you ever walked to the scaleway map you've probably seen him before um, but in case you don't know where he is you can just follow me on screen I'm just going there right now and yeah he gives you it's a pretty simple quest once you have the horn tail necklace and once you have the uh, Horntail Egg, you just have to talk to a few NPCs and that's it, you get a 100% scroll that only works on the Horntail Pendant and it gives it a plus 15 on all stats boost and some other accuracy I think and uh, avoidability maybe something like that but here I'm already actually done with the quest, you just have to go to some hidden map and uh, it's not really that hidden but I never knew about this until I started researching the Horntail pre-quest. Um, you go here and if you have the egg in your inventory or you just stand on the middle of this thing and you hit it with an auto attack uh, or with a normal attack and then this baby dragon gives you this dragon stone and that is that is pretty much it. That's the scroll and yeah like I said it's uh, the Horntail necklace is a pretty big <laughs> upgrade from a deputy star. Um, as you can see here I'm equipping it right now and now you can see the stats before it's scrolled and this is a 100% scroll it w it'll work every time and yeah that's a pretty big upgrade so uh, I'm gonna do some live commentary next and um, yeah uh, in the next clip you'll hear some live commentary so enjoy what is up guys welcome back to a new update video uh, I've been uh, selling a lot of leech on my bishop and it's the second day of the red envelope event as you can see I farmed uh, 460 these are uh, the wishing tickets that I got and I was debating uh, to sell these or to open them myself but I decided to open them myself because you know uh, when you look at it uh, it's around like 300 and 50 mil I would say um, let's see what the what they go for right now some of my people in, the, in my guild said that they are like at least worth 750k so it will be quite profitable to buy these actually 
uh, if you want to gamble that is but also uh, at the end of the event they will start uh, going up again but I decided since I need the NX because you can get money and NX out of these I'll open them myself and I'm not quite sure what I want to do with these uh, because they go for like maybe 10k I don't, I don't know right now but they also go up at the end of the event let's see what this green uh, wishing ticket is going for right now for example yeah they go for 20k each um, so yeah that's also quite a lot uh, so I'll just have to wait and uh, see what I'll do with the wishing tickets but for now let's open some of these uh, envelopes talk to this guy and um, yeah, as you can see I did the event like twice uh, like uh, get some coin you can spend that here on a on a chair I guess but um, that's not what we're here for let's go ahead and open 420 of these bad boys and I'll probably fast forward this let's see what, what we get So we're uh, back guys and um, as you can see I uh, got 92 mil out of it because I started at uh, 850 mil and let's see how many cards I got 50 uh, 100 NX card cards 19 um, 250 NX cards and 13 5k NX cards. I'm not sure if this is above average or under average, but I'm quite, um, uh, quite. It's quite interesting to see that these two are almost the same level. I just enter the cash up and see uh, uh, see how much um, how much NX that is in total. Um, let's see here, and that's a whopping wow. That's uh, almost 75k worth of NX. And uh, that's pretty qu crazy, but um, yeah, I'm gonna be spending this all on AP resets. So um, yeah, um, I'll I'll get back to you once I sold all my stuff and bought all the uh, AP resets. I got uh, 25 at the moment, so this should uh, give me a good boost. So guys, I. Uh used all my money to buy uh, AP resets and I also used my own NX from the cards that we just got and we're at uh, 135 right now which uh, would be able to uh, use up all our ability points but then of course I still have to wash away 290 int so just wait for, uh, for me to get all the AP resets to wash everything away so I'll be um, using this red uh, envelope event, uh, like the Chinese uh, or Asian New Year event thingy, Lunar New Year, that's a word I'm looking for, to make some good money, also sell some more leech, and yeah, it's just a rinse and repeat of what I've just done, so I'll get back to you uh, once I uh, have a worthwhile collection of AP resets. And we're back with the post commentary. Um, so in between selling leech and getting more AP resets, I decided to do the Lilibrium party quest uh, because they updated it. If you do it 20 times, mm, you can get the glasses, the broken glasses, instead of 35. And they also boosted the stats, so I thought now it's kind of worth doing. Uh, because I was thinking about getting the red spectral goggles, but no, uh, four stat each is pretty good to. Uh, uh, four stat total, like two decks and two luck, so that's another upgrade right there. And fast forward a lot of days, uh, maybe it's been like two weeks or something, um, and I uh, have enough AP resets to wash away all the um, yeah, all the rest of uh, my stats. I, oh yeah, and you can see here I bought uh, a black fist cloak with five weapon attack and uh, 120 HP. Normally I record all my upgrades, but um, I was just owling some weapon attack capes and I found this one for 50 mil. So <laughs> that was a pretty significant upgrade. And uh, here, it's the final stage of washing away all the yeah all the last um, ability points into MP. 
and then I can also wash away all the intelligence because then uh, that's also done and uh, yeah it took me a long long ass time to get all these AP resets it's definitely been a process and uh, yeah, this episode wasn't made <laughs> overnight and uh, there's been a lot of time in between clips so um, yeah I'm happy <laughs> that the washing process is finally over and um, yeah uh, you could actually say that, uh, that the childhood dream is now realized uh, I got a perfectly washed Night Lord at level 135 with good gear and yeah, everything you would ever need to, yeah, uh, uh, play the end game of Maple Story. And uh, oh yeah, here I decided to buy uh, the skill book for level 30 triple throw. And as you can see, the first one failed, but uh, luckily <laughs> the second one passed. So that's another 400 mil down the drain there. But uh, yeah, I think like every every Night Lord has to go through this. You know, everyone needs this level 30. Um, triple throw and I think I got pretty lucky uh, only having to use two so I'm not complaining there and here you can see the final product of a long ass journey level 135 night lord with um, yeah everything you would ever need so yeah thanks for watching guys and I see you in the next one what is up guys today a little bit uh, of a different video and I'll get straight to the point and it's kinda simple because I'm not really uh, enjoying the game anymore and not just enjoying logging in and doing bosses all that kinda stuff uh, I've noticed that um, with the new events that come out I don't really feel like playing and the re rewards are really good so it's not that you know um, it's especially with the Valentine's event you can get a really good ring, but I just don't feel like grinding for it. I don't feel like logging in, doing the bosses. I don't really feel like doing the new content that came out. Um, and for me, this was kind of like a signal to uh, stop and reflect and maybe see uh, how this is possible and why uh, I'm not really liking the game anymore. Um, and I'm just gonna uh, try and make this as clear as possible for everyone. But, um, you know, the server Maple Royals, it's perfect to enjoy the end game that Maple Story has to offer. Or like that Maple Story had to offer back in the day. And I think most of us never got to really experience it. it because, you know, pre Big Bang, it was pretty hard to get, you know, past level 70. I myself never got past like level 55. So, the server was giving me like the experience that I always wanted <laughs> as a child. So, that's why the series is also called the childhood dream because this is what you know I was really aiming for back in the day so um, yeah that's that's kinda like um, a good thing uh, but <laughs> I noticed that I really don't like the end game of Maple Story and in this case Maple Royals maybe a bit more in particular um, bossing is just really boring to me uh, I thought I would really enjoy the process of you know getting the perfect gear upgrading some of the gear that I got, you know, getting the best cracks ring, upgrading the horn tail pendant, all that kind of stuff, scrolling a perfect uh, Zekum helmet, all that kind of stuff. But it's just really boring and I've noticed that um, the process to me is more fun than the end result and uh, it feels to me that I reached um, the end result at the moment. Um, as you can see I, I hit like almost 139 or something like that and uh, I know there's like a lot more bosses to unlock but it's just uh, rinse and repeat from this point on and you know uh, I remember having the most fun on this server actually the first time that I made an account where I was you know just playing an assassin the normal way um, not HP washing, just doing all the party quests, um, getting excited for a third job, getting excited for even you know getting to the second job, but um, that that feeling is kind of gone, you know. Um, there is like a certain way you have to play, especially on this server, if you want to um, enjoy all the content. And you know, I'm uh, aware of this, of course, because I <laughs> have like not, uh, a perfectly washed Night Lord with all uh, with all kinds of good gear right now. But um, 
I realized that I just enjoy the, the old kind of playing, you know, um, just uh, doing the Kerning City PQ, getting to know a community, and you could say that this um, type of gameplay has been shifted over to the end game. Like, uh, if you do a lot of bosses every day, you get to know the same people. Um, if a lot of people are active, uh, no, a lot, a lot of the same people are active, so you get to boss with some of those people so you get kind of a similar um, vibe as the old days where you get a group of people that are in the same level range and uh, you can play together but I just don't enjoy the whole bossing process and um, yeah uh, that's it for me um, I don't know what else to say about it there's definitely um, some elitism on the server and uh, I would say it's kind of 50-50 we have a whole group of people that is really nice and really eager to help new people. So I definitely don't want to badmouth the whole community because it's largely a good community. But there is also um, a whole community that wants to play the game like in a different way. And for me that's not kind of enjoyable. It's like you have to know everything by heart. Uh, if you're new to the end game, uh, people don't uh, want to take their time explaining things. So. Uh, it's definitely uh, a bit 50/50, and if you like, if you reach the end game, I think you definitely know what I'm talking about. Um, anyways, I don't want to uh, ramble too much about that. So um, for now, I think um, I reached my goal. I, I reached like the 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 childhood dream, the perfect night lord. Uh, I've done all the bosses that I wanted uh, from back in the day. You know, I wanted to do the coom Zekum, whatever, <laughs> Pianus, the big fish, uh, you know, Populatus, the big clock, um, Cracks, didn't really care about, but <laughs> it's good experience, so, um, but yeah, those were, and Horntail, uh, I did, I, I didn't really participate in the, in the fighting, but I got the Horntail pendant, so, I actually accomplished all the things that I wanted to accomplish, fourth job, some epic damage, cool equips, all that kind of stuff. I reached that, so for me, um, the end goal is kind of reached at this point. Um, so uh, I definitely realize that you know every time someone says, "Oh, I'm quitting uh, Maple Story" or "I'm quitting any type of game," most of the time we just take <laughs> long breaks. Uh, and probably most of you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, you wouldn't be playing on Maple Royals. So I'm, I don't want to say goodbye uh, forever or something dramatic like that because who knows, maybe in, in half a year time, maybe a year time, I'll be looking forward to like playing uh, a casual game and then Maple Royals could be the perfect game because I have a perfect Night Lord waiting for me. So um, that's uh, some stuff about that. And of course, you know, my videos will still be on the channel, and I think it's a kind of a nice, um, yeah, guide for people that want to make like a, a perfect washed character or that are interested in seeing um, what this server is all about, like the Maple Royal server. And um, it's a good thing to see what you're setting, get what you're getting yourself into if you want to take it seriously. So. Um, I think that's yeah, good for for yeah the videos are good for that. So that's all the uh, got like game related stuff. But there is also some real life things that come into account. And mainly, um, I recently graduated, and this is a really great thing. I studied HR. Um, <laughs> at the end of my study, I realized that it isn't really what I wanted to do. Uh, I don't like most aspects of it and most of the time you figure this out once you start wording, working in the field um, but um, I decided to do start a new studies in September of this year and normally you can get some government funding in the Netherlands but um, I'm gonna study abroad and I'm gonna do something completely different um, so long story short uh, I have to fund this study um, all by myself and I know this is like normal in some countries and I really uh, I, I count my blessings uh, that I live in the Netherlands and I get you know, some funding to begin with from the government but long story short I have to fund this new study all myself 
and I want to take it really seriously. It's uh, I'm, I'm gonna uh, make a bit of a shift in what I've been doing. I'm gonna study concept art, and it's um, to explain it real short. It's kind of like the visualization of ideas, and it's mostly in the entertainment business. So uh, it's some video game related content, some movie related content, stuff like that. Um, so I was thinking about making some videos about that in the future, maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, but um, yeah, what I wanted to say with that is that um, I, I have to focus on some real life stuff as well. And since I have, have to pay every penny myself, I, I, I don't want to mess it up. I want to take it really serious. I want to do some preparations. I want to be as prepared as possible when I start this study in September. Uh, I'm even moving to a different city um, to to yeah do this new study. So um, yeah, long story short, um, it's it's kind of I I don't really want to focus on playing games too much. Uh, so, all this also taking into account, I think it's a good time to you know take a break or just quit playing Maple Story. Uh, I don't really play any other games, to be honest. Uh, I play some games now and then. I uh, play a bit of Rocket League sometimes, very casual. Uh, I play a bit of Brawl Stars on my phone, um, but I don't really feel like making videos about those games. And besides that, I don't really play any other games. So, um, if Nexon ever does decide to re release a real, you know, private server, uh, I mean, <laughs> private server, old school server, I mean, I'll definitely would check that out. But um, yeah, for now, no real gaming content is coming, uh, unless I decide to, you know, uh, rejoin um, the Maple Royals community. But uh, for now, this is going to be like the last episode. Um, and who knows, you know, like like I said earlier, it could be that in, in like a few months or maybe a year or so, who knows, I'll, I'll, I definitely want to come back and then uh, I have everything waiting for me. So yeah, uh, I think I've said everything that I wanted to say in this, uh, in this video. So I want to end the video by thanking everyone who watched uh, my videos and I see like there's like almost on average 1000 people that watch the video so I think that's a big part of the community uh, thanks to everyone who subscribed uh, thanks to everyone who commented and liked the videos you definitely see some familiar faces coming back so big shout out to those guys and like I said um, I don't think this is gonna be the last video on the YouTube channel um, maybe I'm gonna shift the content a bit uh, maybe once I I have some interesting stuff to share about my new studies like the concept art I'll do some live paintings maybe um, some speed paintings who knows um, maybe maybe some some of you would be interested in that because it's also um, gaming related um, concept art who knows um, you know, uh, I definitely don't want to throw away all uh, everything I gained on this YouTube channel. So, thanks for everyone who supported me. And uh, I'll probably see you in the next one, whenever that might be.